Today's word of encouragement comes from Exodus 20, verse 12. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving to you. When presidents die, a nation honors their contributions to the country. The same happens when military or public service heroes lose their lives. Such honor is well deserved. However, other expressions of honor that seem to be practiced less, you know, gentlemen treating ladies respectfully, younger people rising to greet an elderly person, children honoring their parents and people honoring the nation's flag and others are also examples of honor, though they may not happen as often as they used to. There is something timeless and universal about honor. For instance, hundreds of years before Moses wrote down the fifth of the Ten Commandments, which is the command to honor your parents, Joseph did that very thing without being commanded to do that. Though his mother was dead, Joseph honored his father, Jacob, by bringing his household to Egypt, introducing him to Pharaoh, and settling his family in the choice lands of Egypt, and returning his body to Canaan to be buried when he died. Most of all, Joseph wept grievously over his father when he died and called on the nation of Egypt to honor him at his passing. You know, honor feels right when it's given and it feels wrong when it's withheld. Look for someone to honor in word and in deed. And it tells us that in Romans 13 verse 7. With that word of encouragement, God bless. We'll talk to you later.